Hello everybody, it's Craig or Crackem. Uh, I just wanted to shoot a quick video on my broken phone. I can hardly see the image. Anyway, I did get the issue with the number one cylinder not firing correctly corrected. The head or base gaskets for the new runners was not properly fitted over here on cylinder number one. That was the offensive character. But I've trimmed in everything pretty nice. The new hosing material is really looking sharp on the new runners. Uh, you see a lot of the grab bar and that will hide very nicely under the skins. But uh, I've trimmed it pretty close and you know tucked all that stuff in pretty good. There is my Weber 3232 uh, Progressive and the modified piece of wood that I worked on with Joe for my mount of my two into one converter so I did work out all the vacuum leaks now I'm pretty sure I'm close and proof is in the pudding no runs, no smoke, no errors I do have some tightening to do on the elements of the cooling system that I replaced, but that's coming in quite nicely, and I think the coolant's all burped out now. Uh, dialing at about 1350 to 1500 RPM. Um, this thing hits that secondary like nobody's business. It's something else to really experience. I am going to take it out tonight on her first road run, so I'm hoping that I don't have the plenum issues that I had on the old setup. This one does idle much better, it balances much better, it's just better, 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 better. And I'm really pleased with it so far now that I got most of the kinks worked out of it. I will still likely have to jet, but we'll see. But here we are, uh, proof is in the pudding sort of thing, but old Big Bertha's coming together. We'll talk to you later. Bye.